In this video we're going to look at the substances that are found in cells. We're going to break the substances into organic and inorganic substances, as well as look at a few of the different organic substances, carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, nucleic acids and vitamins. All substances can either be classified as organic or inorganic. Organic are substances that are contain carbon, so examples of these are the ones I just said, proteins, lipids, as well as carbohydrates or saccharides. Inorganic substances are ones that do not contain carbon, except for carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is also counted as an inorganic substance, even though it does contain carbon. Now, carbon's this uh, wonderful compound that makes up pretty much everything inside us, uh, and that's where all these organic things, so all living things are generally made of organic uh, molecules and those organic molecules containing carbon. The first example of an organic compound are carbohydrates. Carbohydrates uh, are molecules made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. And these are generally used for energy with inside, inside the cell and broken down into glucose for that to happen. So glucose is an example of a monosaccharide, which is one type of carbohydrate, the simplest. We then have disaccharides and polysaccharides. So monosaccharides are simple sugars. They're used for instant energy. As I said, glucose is an example of this, and they're soluble in water. So here are three different monosaccharides, and you can see they all have similar uh, structure in that they are a ring, a carbon ring, that has an oxygen inside it. So glucose is a five carbon ring, while the others are four carbon rings, ribose and fructose. Disaccharides are carbohydrates that are made of two monosaccharides joined together. So for example, sucrose, which is the white sugar that you might have on your wheat bix is made of glucose and fructose. And lactose, the sugar that's found in Milk is made of glucose and galactose. So disaccharides being two saccharides. We then have polysaccharides, which, have, which we call complex carbohydrates. And this is your wheat bix, uh, which mainly uh, starch and cellulose, with lots and lots of chains of saccharides. So they're very long chains of saccharides. They're insoluble in water, and this is where you get a lot of your energy from. Lipids are fats and oils. They're generally insoluble in water and have a hydrophobic tail. They're important in the body in that they are used as an energy storage as well as making up the membranes found in cells and for dissolving hormones that are, can be moved around the body. Proteins are used for growth and repair. They again have carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, but also contain nitrogen. They're long chains of amino acids joined together by peptide bonds. So sometimes these are proteins are referred to as polypeptides, meaning many peptide bonds. They can have a few 50 uh, amino acids or they can have in thousands of amino acids. Uh, and there are many, many thousands of different proteins, uh, but all proteins are made with just 20 amino acids. Those amino acids each have a particular shape and a particular functional groups hanging off it. So this long chain of amino acid, because of the functional groups that hang off it and the way that they fit in with, with each other, each of these thousands and thousands of proteins has a unique shape and that determines its behavior and how the body uses it. Nucleic acids are long chains of nucleotides. A nucleotide consists of a sugar, a nitrogen base and a phosphate group. These are very important being the building blocks of life. The nucleic acids provide the backbone for DNA which is found in the chromosomes the deoxyribose nucleic acid, as well as RNA, ribose nucleic acid, which is found throughout the cell and codes for proteins. 
vitamins or uh, organic molecules that are used as coenzymes that help regulate reactions. So the enzymes are organic catalysts that uh, control the reaction. Some of these organic catalysts need these coenzymes in order to work. And finally, the inorganic substances that are found in the body, uh, other than water, which is a solvent that everything's dissolved in, as well as carbon dioxide, the waste product of respiration. We have a whole heap of other different minerals, and these minerals are generally used as cofactors to, again, work with an enzyme to regulate reactions throughout the body. In this video, we've looked at the difference between organic and inorganic substances in that organic substances contain carbon and inorganic substances don't, except for carbon dioxide. We've looked at carbohydrates, which can be classed as simple sugars, monosaccharides, sugars, disaccharides, or complex carbohydrates, polysaccharides. We've looked at lipids being the fats and oils that store energy as well as create the membranes in cells. We've looked at the nucleic acids which create DNA and RNA being the code, uh, genetic code for life. And we've looked at vitamins as well as inorganic minerals which are cofactors and coenzymes, both of which work with enzymes to control chemical reactions within the body.